Hi, my name is Lotia Shen. Today I'm gonna tell my digital story which is about South Korea. First, traditional food of Korea. Bimbimbap is a rice mixed with meat, soya sauce, gochujang and namu. Gochujang is a spicy chili paste made from Korea, while namu is seasoned third and salted third vegetable. An egg is usually added on top. All the ingredients are added to the heated stone bowl so that the bottom layer of the rice will turn brown and toasty color, which is tasty. Next, the boki, a chewy rice cake which cooked it with bright red spicy paste, a popular Korean street food. Next, gimbap. Its main ingredients are rice and seaweed. It uses rice vinegar, sea same oil, sugar and salt as seasonings. Pickled vegetable, radish, spanish and egg script usually used as fillings. It is inexpensive and selling everywhere. The next subtopic is national dress of South Korea, hanbok. Hanbok is a traditional cloth of Korea. Although the dress code of Korean has changed to follow up the fashion trend, but hanbok still remains important part of Korean culture. People always wear hanbok on special occasions or anniversaries. Nowadays, most of the travelers will sit to hanbok store to rent the clothes and change into them. Those travelers usually take photos in hanbok at traditional buildings such as Changdo-gong Palace, Yongbok-gong Palace, and Bokchon Hanok Village. We have touched the next subtopic, which is Korea historic areas. First, Yongbok-gong Palace, the main and largest of the palace in Seoul. It built in 1395 during Joseon Dynasty. It located in the center of Seoul. Behind the palace is Inner City Mountain, which brings a humorous view between nature and the palace. The second palace, Changdo-gong. It near to Yongbokong Palace, which is built in 14 and 5. Inside the palace, there is a secret garden named Huwon, has a beautiful natural scenery. Walk in the alley of the palace, you can feel harmony nature with your heart. Last but not least, Bunchong Hanok Village is the last historic area of Korea. It located between Yongbokong Palace and Chungdonggok Palace. The village gathered around 800 to 900 Hanok. Hanok means traditional Korean houses, while Bukchon means North Village in South Korea. This village was a residential area of high-ranking government officials, nobles, and influential families. Visitors must be quiet when walk along the village. In a nutshell, Korea is a country worth for visiting. And this is end of my video. Thank you.